This is an updated full and complete guide to get 99,999,999 bucks in the crew 2. The ultimate money method. Updated from the previous to include all of these changes making this the best current guide. What's going on? My name is Sid, and I've got almost 5,000 hours in the crew too. And in that time, I have hit 99,999,999 bucks many, many times. It's so much easier than people think. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and honestly, just check out some of my other content. It'll be in your recommended, so if you see one of my videos, just give it a watch, give it a shot. Because I do a very big, broad range of content in race games. Also, make sure if you're on the platforms, do check out my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. They're all linked in the description. Now, for this first section, I'll explain the few tips and tricks that apply everywhere. This will go for every method and every type of car, not just individually. First of all is icon points. Now, in icon points, every single icon level, you get an icon point. Eventually, these two get maxed out, and then every third icon level, you get one for comfort. And in comfort, the best you can do to earn more money is put all of your icon points achieved onto RIP. As you can see, increase bucks gained by and then a percentage based on how many you put on. I massively recommend if you have the icon points, put as many as you can on pure, extra pump, ventilated, resourceful, frenetic and drifty. And then what you have left, start putting that onto bucks every time you get some. You can get a maximum of 3,333 icon points on the comfort section of the icon points menu, meaning a total of 333.3% boost on bucks. Ignore the voice break or else. An extra tip just for you guys when putting icon points on, the best way to put them on is to spam both R2 and X at the same time. Then you get roughly six every time overall meaning a fair bit quicker. Next is parts, and this one is a little complicated to explain. So, if you want to grind everything, followers and money, your parts can look like this, but for maximizing the amount of money you want to earn every single time, this is what your set should look like. Now, you know you get parts from completing events. Blue, green, purple, gold, not in that order. However, blue has one boost, purple has two boosts, and gold has two boosts and an ace set bonus. The ace set bonus you cannot change. When you receive a part, it has that one on permanently. However, if you get the same set bonus on every single part, as you can see, when not having them all, the set bonus doesn't do anything, but once having every single one with the same matching set bonus, it activates it. And the best one you want is Nitro Chemist, meaning two times the Nitro Tank size. However, when you receive gold parts, those two other normal boosts are also randomized. However, with the currency that you get for scrapping parts, spare parts, the orange one in the top right, and money, you can recalibrate a part. This does cost a lot because it increases up to the amount you can see there. And this every single time gives you a random option of a different percentage of the same affix, a different affix, or keeping the exact same one you have currently. There is two of these on every part, so 14 individual adjustable boosts on a full set. And realistically, you want to recalibrate all of these. This can cost upwards of millions, so do this while you grind. And the affixes you want to recalibrate to get is bucks boost on all of them, rich. Every single one should have the maximum percentage of the rich affix. And then four of them should have pure, which boosts nitro power, and three of them should have extra pump, which increases nitro refill speed accompanying rich. As you can see, taking off my icon points for a moment, what this does is this results in 21% bucks boost and then the pure and extra pump allowing you to complete runs so much faster. It's a little bit complicated, but I hope that made sense. First is the street method. Now there has been a few changes for this method, but this is the one for say you've just begun the game, you either only have street cars or you only want to drive street vehicles. So, 
This is the absolute best way to earn money in the street spec. And it is also the third best way to earn money in the game overall. Now, all of the numbers I'm going to say are 100% accurate. They're using with restart time accounted for, as well as three active practical runs accounted for an hour with the amount of runs with the exact numbers and the precise percentages calculated these numbers are accurate in one hour with absolutely zero boosts you could earn 661 thousand bucks per hour with only parts boost so just the 21 percent on all of overall on your part you can earn 800 thousand bucks per hour and with full icon points and full part set with the maximum amount you can earn from this method is three million bucks per hour harlem west it's here in the street racing menu alternatively it is up in the new york manhattan island area up at the top harlem west you want to play this event on ace the maximum difficulty you are able to the best vehicles to use for harlem west is the lamborghini kuntash the best car in street alternatively you could use the lamborghini gallardo the second best car in street in case you skipped the tips and tricks section which i do recommend you watch the parts you want is all of them to have box on them and then four with pure and three with refill speed by the way if you're someone who likes watching wheel gameplay and is into wheel game play in general in racing games as well as the crew too you can always check out drift wedge a channel where i at least try to upload daily wheel gameplay from like 10 minutes to 40 minutes of driving on wheel with your favorite cars in the crew too so if you got the time do check out the wheel gameplay channel i'll show you one run of harlem west so you can see how to maximize the speed every single run therefore overall in an hour when grinding for a while you can earn more money you can cut the grass to begin with to get the first checkpoint then it's essentially straight until you get to this bit you can instantly go over this patch of grass and beeline it for the next checkpoint there's two trees here you want to go between them and then slam on the brakes to turn back around then once you've turned around again you want to go straight in between the tree and the rock essentially aiming for that checkpoint that i just hit now here what i like to do is one stay left to go wide but again stay left because you can most consistently hit the landing if you stay left on that ramp i'll show you it on the second run as well so it's not so fast paced because god this is a very quick run so far now you can much more reliably cut this checkpoint uh cut this uh corner there Try not to slide out as much as I have there. Maybe try and keep a bit more stable. Again, cutting the grass here and going straight for the checkpoint. And then, oh, nearly span these two trees. Slamming on the brakes so you don't go wide. Again, this turn here. And the tree and the rock. This one can be annoying to hit, but there you go. And of course, simply staying left. You go here in the cycle lane, staying left there, and then staying left here essentially means you can way 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 more consistently hit this jump oh we're good okay i was i was going a bit too left there but uh, you see we made it absolutely perfectly still god this car is unstable but it's very very quick and just like that i didn't crash there i mean even though i didn't crash there a one minute 45 run i've done one minute 39 i believe yes i have and again the more and more you do this the more better you get at it right i can recommend the gallardo as it is a bit more of a stable car however this is the faster car in street now on to the next method the next better event for money is the absolute best overall regular event for money in the game and the second best overall money method in the game this is also my personal favorite as you can do this one while not paying attention at all really so doing this one while watching youtube netflix 
Sidwaj videos, or maybe the Stick Drift podcast. New episodes out every single Sunday. A podcast for all things car, car culture, racing, racing games, and motorsports would be absolutely fine. So you don't really have to focus on it too directly. And you do make more than the street method. As this one, with absolutely zero boosts, you earn 720,000 bucks. With just parts boost, you earn 870,000 bucks. And with maximum icon points and maximum boosts, you can earn 3.260 million bucks per hour. This is the Uber Dam race in Pro Racing Powerboat and it's the very first race. Alternatively, this is in Lake Mead right next to Las Vegas. It's this Powerboat event right here. You want to play this on, of course, Ace difficulty. The highest possible difficulty. The parts you want to use on your boat are similar to the street ones. In fact, exactly like the street ones. Overall, 21% bucks boost with the pure and refill speed being on full pure, three refill speed over the seven parts. And the boat you want to use is this, the Frosher 1414 Demon. It is by far the best boat in Power Boat. Another tip for just boats in general, I go into settings, go into game settings, down to invert Y axis, and I have the Y axis inverted for boats. What this means is whenever trimming, so going faster by leaning forward or back, I go like this with the, with the, the, the stick up to lean back, making it a lot more comfortable as well as allowing me to have a lot more precision when sailing. I'll show you one run of this so you know exactly what to do. Now this is the better method of course for events. I normally instantly go out because you wanna aim for just getting to the side of that one so you can cut through all of the uh, traffic essentially. Going through here to again go just outside but then cutting in and, oh, well, perfect, like that. Just about going uh, through the red bits. Another checkpoint that you can go just to the outside of to maximize speed. But again, none of this you have to do really exact. You can also go in through there. Uh, I suppose tapping nitro just so you stay going really fast. But again, you can do this very quickly without focusing that directly. You wanna lean down when diving and then lean back up before you hit the ground, then there's nothing much here uh, until, again, well, I guess just going tight once you know the track better. On Over this bit ramp, this ramp bit, you wanna go left. It's the fastest way of going about it. And again, with this ramp bit, you wanna go to the left of the ramp, but then cut in there. And this is the best. Now, again, it you do have to grind powerboat beforehand to get a maxed out powerboat and to have all those parts, but this is better for money than Harlem West is. So remember, the more grinding you do overall, the more you could have made if you were grinding Uber Dam instead of Harlem West. On to the final and best method for money in the Crew 2. This can earn you with zero boosts, 1.26 million per hour with just parts boost 1.524 million per hour and with full maxed out icon and parts boost you can earn 5.7 million per hour with this method as you can see 19 is my best here however these calculations were done with three pretty bad runs a like 45 seconds a 40 and i believe a th high 30 seconds runs but this run does get kind of annoying because you do have to actively play in this one to defeat the outlaws the best as this is here in hypercar high speed takedown this one of the three interception events alternatively it is over here below seattle above sacramento in the map and a massive change very recently the car you want to use is the Bugatti Chiron interception unit. This is the best 
for this event and you can now purchase this car so buy the bugatti chiron as this car can make you a lot of money. This used to be an exclusive car, but not anymore. The parts you want to use are also slightly different than the other methods, and that is because they have four pure parts, but then three frenetic parts, all still with box boost, but the frenetic is more nitro power while nitroing. So the longer you nitro, the more your nitro power increases. This is of course because you want more power to defeat the outlaws. And again, there is actually tips for this one. First of all, make sure you play this one on normal difficulty. Normal difficulty. This event must, to be the best, be played on normal difficulty. This gives you the least amount of outlaws to defeat and because of that even though you make less money than the other difficulties it cancels out you're making a lot more money compared to the time you're spending also while you're here just a quick note if you are into cars car culture racing racing games in any capacity you should definitely check out my podcast the stick drift podcast new episodes out every single sunday the link will be in the description check out the stick drift podcast it's a good watch every single week make sure you subscribe to the stick drift podcast head over there now after you've watched this guide head over there i guess so here's what i do to maximize the speed of these runs straight away i nitro to get the second guy and there you go have you seen where i hit him specifically a sort of corner to corner hit and on top of that you want to make sure your speed stays up because when you're at 220 miles an hour or more it's a definite one hit as well as going for the little like corner hits you know i, I like those ones and there you go again that was a outlaws taken down to get a very quick run now remember these numbers that i've given are calculated with the restart time accounted for so i've heard some people say that oh well restarting means the high speed takedown isn't the best completely not true it is still the best even with restart time as you can see you may have some bad runs you may have some good runs but overall definitively the quickest way to make money by a landslide too, right? Almost two and a half million bucks more per hour using the maximum boosts. So there you have it, the absolute best ways to make money in the crew too. Thank you to popular members, a special thank you to famous members. Remember to check out all of the links in the description. I'll see you boys in the next one in a bit.